What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. What is the summoner that I think you all should at least be taking a look at if you have not already? Now, we know the prices for Chaos Legion are still somewhat in flux. We are about a couple weeks away from the general sale opening up. Oh, maybe just a little over one week away from the general sale. So card prices are still somewhat in flux, still in price discovery, still being driven down, and we expect them to go down further. So I'm not saying you need to do this now, but I'm saying that with the prices right now, it it's not that it doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm, I'm contradicting myself. All right, let's go ahead and just take a look at the summoners here. What I want to call out and what we're seeing now is some of the summoners such as Thaddeus Brood and General Sloan are being listed for less than, or consistently listed, I should say, for less than $4. Um, you know, again, that's pretty great considering if you were joining the game anywhere within the last six months like I was, or five months, uh, summoner prices were through the roof. So it is actually kind of nice to see how affordable some of these summoners are to level up. Now, what I want to call out, and again, this is just a strategy that I use, and I think it's important, and I'll probably go into it more in uh, in other strategy videos, is I think that dragons are underrated. I was not big on the dragon bandwagon in the beginning because I didn't fully understand how powerful they could be. But now looking at this, we're gonna we're gonna look at this from a cost perspective, right? Here's Quix the Devious. He is a legendary summoner. So you will need three BCX to level him up to silver, right? And for most people, if you just want to get out of, out of bronze and play silver, I feel like this is where you're at. You're going to need six BCX if you want to level him up to gold. If we're looking at the cheapest summoners here, and Thaddeus Brood is one of my favorite, uh, or Death and Thaddeus Brood are one of my favorites. In order to max out for silver, you would need 25 BCX, right? I just want to run some numbers here. Let's say you're going to get them and we're going to we're going to round up just uh, you know what if your average is about $4, 25 that's an easy clean $100 to get a fully maxed out for silver, right? Specifically for silver uh Thaddeus Brood. Whereas if you were to grab Quicks and we're going to round this one up to 29 times the 3 BCX you would need. Oops, that's not 29 times 3 is going to be 87. So here's the thing. If you're looking at 87 versus $100, yes, 87 is slightly lower. If for some people, maybe $13 makes a huge difference. I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to say anything one way or another. But why is it that I feel like Quicks the Devious can be incredibly valuable? It's because dragging can be paired with pretty much any other splinter. So if you have Quicks the Devious, right, let's let's say you can only get and only level up one summoner. Well, here you go. You got your hundred bucks. You can choose Thaddeus Brood, right? Or you can choose Quicks the Devious or you can choose General Sloan. I mean, all of them are going to be roughly around the same price. Nothing, nothing's over five dollars anymore. But if you only had enough to do one, the reason that I like Dragon is because of the fact that when you look at the rest of the cards, and I'm going to go specifically to the common cards here, some of these cards are going for pennies, as I've been saying. Six cents is the cheapest. So here's the thing. Because of the versatility with Dragon, you can go through and start leveling some of these guys up. I mean, here, come here to, let's say you like to play Water. I mean, some of my favorite cards, well, I guess Deep Lurker and uh, Flying Squid are a little bit more expensive, but you can start leveling up any and all of the cards across different splinters because when you play quicks, it doesn't matter which splinter you play with, you would potentially have leveled up cards, right? And if you're just looking at the bottom here, let's see, I, I don't play, I mean, Hell Giant is, is decent, is a decent meat shield, right? And if you want to get him up to level five, you would need 60 BCX, right? 60 BCX times what's the cheapest one going for? Is this, yeah, this is one that's like six cents, so times 0 0.06. Like this is another, this is $3 and 60 cents, right? Roughly, maybe a little bit more than that uh, if your average price goes up. But my point is with Quicks the Devious, you have the entire assortment of Chaos Legion cards and really uh, all cards, right? Because it doesn't really matter what splinter at that point. And if I were just starting out with limited funds, this is kind of the approach that I would take. Um, you know, I, I would look. I would look to get dragon summoners. And right now, if you look at dragon summoners, 
Um, let's go ahead and put this to dragon summoners across the board. You know, to get to grab these guys and play them up at higher levels. So, for example, uh, Crutch, you don't get any buffs here or debuffs. Um, but it's going to cost you, you know, this is to play in silver, so level three. It's going to cost you roughly around the same amount. Uh, again, with legendary summoners, I just feel like the less amount of BCX you need to get, it makes sense. He's going to be in modern format for much longer. Uh, obviously, with Drake of Arnak, you're going to need that 25, right? So 25 times eight, if I'm doing my math roughly, is going to be over $200 to get him maxed out for silver. So you can see why, if I'm looking specifically at Chaos Legion, I really like Quicks the Devious. And then, and then, not only can you go through and play with any and all of the, um, I'm sorry, any and all of the common and rare cards. And I mean, if you want to, you could even get the epic cards and start leveling them up too, right? Like all of these are within range. I mean, I love playing with Soul Strangler. Strangler, Dampier Stalker is fantastic as well. River Nymph is where you get the, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Amplify at level four, which is eligible for silver. Like these cards are all much more affordable, right? Than than trying to level up single uh, decks. Now, here's the thing: in the long run, I think it's still worth leveling up single decks. But if you're gonna start somewhere, or if you are in the middle, or wherever you're at, I would highly consider Quicks the Devious. Now, here's the nice thing too: I, I really like the legendary. Well, not I guess they are all legendary, but I like the dragon monsters from Chaos Legion. Zyvax Vool is okay. I, and to be honest, I guess I don't use Desert Dragon as much as a main tank, but we'll potentially use him in melee matchups and things like that. But I think Void Dragon and Chaos Dragon, both of which, you know, Void Dragon, you would need three of these of this guy, right? You'd need three of this guy, so that'd be 30 bucks right there. And you would have a decent Void tank right that is eligible to play at the silver level eligible to play with a level two uh, level two summoner so if you are looking to level up summoners and i'm not saying again you have to do this now everybody's expecting the price to go down but just keep in mind what everybody expects doesn't always happen in fact sometimes it's the opposite of what everyone expects that actually happens so we are seeing the prices driven down i would say at the very least, right? And this is not financial advice, but at the very least, what I'm trying to uh, point out is to consider the price points on these, right? If you can go and you can level all of them out to silver or gold or whatever you need, more power to you. But for those folks playing with limited funds or wanting to build organically in the game with their earnings and things like that, that are wondering where to focus their, their uh, resources, I, that's where I would go. Now, I just want to do, I haven't, I haven't done this ahead of time. So I'm just curious now if I were to check out, if we were to max out for gold, right? Because I'm sure a lot of people want to be able to play in gold and getting a gold level deck is not, you know, necessarily out of the question with the card prices continuing to fall. So if you were to, let's say, get four times 60, there's going to be $240 for you to max out at gold, right? For Thaddeus Brood, and I, I guess, you know, if you if you do the average of four dollars for any of these, if you can snipe some cheaper deals for these guys, for any of the rare summoners, it's going to cost you two hundred forty dollars for this one. Like I said, you need six BCX. We're going to round this up to twenty nine right now times six. It's a it's almost seventy dollars cheaper. And all of a sudden you have a gold level summoner that can play level three legendaries, right? Level three legendaries across all splinters. Now. Let's go ahead and check out some of these legendary splinters or legendary monsters across all the different splinters. You can get some at decent prices right now. Jin Rat is one of my favorites. I don't use him as much as I would like, uh, but I, I, I love the void armor and the armor repair that is becoming, you know, a huge part of the meta here. And as we're seeing, I mean, look, Chaos Dragon is under $20 now. Queen Mycelia is under $30. These prices are coming down, guys. So... Just something to keep in mind when it comes to summoners, I, I would very much consider looking at Quicks the Devious and grabbing, you know, the amount that you would need. And again, to max him out, you only need 11 cards, right? 11 BCX. So 11 times 29 is going to cost you $319. Like at, at that point, you know, what what is it that you're... Uh, maybe you don't like the, the debuffs here. I'm not the biggest fan of them, uh, you know, uh, but that's... It, it, it doesn't really matter because at least you're able to play with a leveled up summoner. And if you're playing in bronze, silver, or, you know, gold, 
having that and having access to the monsters and the flexibility when it comes to dragon to me is incredibly valuable. So just wanted to call that out. Uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. If you are finding this information helpful or entertaining, I would appreciate if you would consider liking and subscribing. It's an easy, uh, easy and free way to support the channel. And for those of you watching on three speak, I appreciate you for watching on three speak. I'm trying to grow out on that channel too. So much love. Hope you guys win nothing but gold foil legendaries from your daily quest today. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game.